Hey guys, it's Woodif here, and welcome back to NASCAR 7 Career Mode for part number 32. Still doing the chase races. We'll do uh, race number 3, 4, and 5 in this part. And we have a, or 39 points back from Biffle after Dover, so... We got some, uh... We got some, uh... Leeway... Le <laughs> what am I trying to say? We got some work to do. That's what I'm trying to say. But, uh, we're going to Kansas, which I'm a little terrified about because it's a flat-ish type of track, and... All the other games seem like Kansas is insanely difficult, so we're going to go with the Piro adjustments for this and just hope we can kind of minimize the damage because everywhere else we should be good at, so yeah, that, that's our that's our goal. Through three and four, first lap we got fourth. This one looks like a pull, so that's already looking good because Biffle's starting right up there, so we got to be on our like ultimate A game, and we did just that. But by how much did we get the pull by is about three tenths, so... I like to think we'll be fine, but it, qualifying first doesn't mean anything because we'll always lose like four spots in the start. <laughs> Car set up, it's just the standard uh, adjustments with the tire pressures in the wedge. I put it a full round down, so that should be uh, good enough in the race where it can turn, which is a, a foreign concept for some of these tracks. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But, yeah, just, Bibble's going to be a problem just like how he was in Ask 06. The way this is kind of playing out, then he's, he's really going to be a problem. And like I said, we'll lose, you know, a couple spots. Wow, we're going to go up to almost back to sixth. But yay, straightaway speed. It, it's it's um, it's unreal. But yeah, this is one of the tracks, too, where the AI always bring out a yellow. So this is, I'm going to try to stay out as long as I can to try to avoid that issue. So that's my plan. Also, Trex is going to lead the first lap, so good for me, because then Biffle's not going to get that. And then, you know... We won't get the five bonus points. Proud of you, Truex. I appreciate the, the help. Also, the car is really fast. <laughs> like, holy good god. It. I wasn't even really going to try to make a pass on the outside, but here we are. And actually, if I get the lead on the outside, I'm going to be very... I'm going to be in, in disarray. It's another good run up on the high side, but it's getting tight. Oh, boy. It's just, well, some smoke happened, so it must have been a wreck somewhere on the track. We are still trying very desperately to get the lead up on the high side. It's very admirable. Wait a minute. Wait. It's gonna happen. Well, holy shit, we did it. Are we clear? We get to the bottom? Oh, we're clear. Oh, that was beautiful. That was, okay, he's doing a little, little arrow push thing. Okay, whew. We're fine. Let's pull away. Pin this lap. I stayed out as long as I possibly could, just in case the AI did something weird. It doesn't seem like it's gonna happen, so yeah, just gonna. I guess we'll just play out naturally. So yeah, just four tires and fuel, and that's it. I mean, our car is fine. That's a 18-1, so about a tenth under the estimated time. So good job, pit crew. Now, where are we gonna cycle out? We had like a six-second lead, so <laughs> we're gonna lose a little bit of that because we did pit so late. But, yeah, we're still leading, regardless, so <laughs> it didn't matter. Oh no, I hit the wall. What a, what a tragedy. Through three and four. Um, I... <laughs> Jeez, that was disgusting. I I can't... I, I, I just figured that maybe this would be tough because it's sort of a, the track is flat, but... I, I don't know. Finishing results. I think Biffle still got second. Yes, he did. And he, we only gained 20 points on him, so he's still technically the point leader, which is... <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> putting up a fight, which I respect. I heard everybody else finish. Stewart's up there, Biffle, uh, Gordon, uh, Truex led a lap, Kenseth, Sadler, oh no, Mark. Mark, where are you? Mark, oh my god, 25th. He's gonna be... He, oh, I'm upset. I'm I'm actually a little I'm a little angry about that. Does Denny Hamlin have a mustache? That's not my Denny Hamlin. Who is that? What is that pop and lock move that he just did? I I I have so many questions. I know Ace. I gotta apologize. This is this is how it goes. I'll take a look at the point standings though. And yeah, 19 back. Boy, first through fifth are under 100 points, and six is 123. It's a pretty, pretty.
pretty substantial gap. And oh, Mark is last. Oh, that's 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 horrible. At least Jimmy's not last in the chase. He was last when it started almost, so good good for him. Well, on a Talladega and hope that it's not a shit show so we can actually race it out. And we got the pull to no one's shock. So that's a 49-4. Okay, we barely got it. But we all know we're going to suck on the start and lose spots anyway, so why, why does it matter? Well, car setup, it's default. I like to see what it can do when we don't have to worry about <laughs> cautions. At least, at least I hope not. Bip will start in second, because of course. So, that's another worry. So, I wish he was starting third, because then maybe I can kind of hold him back behind me. But I guess I could just hold up the outside line. Once I get to third gear, like what you got him already at now. And then just block that and just let Gordon get the lead so that hurts like hurts Gordon or Biffle more than anything. I guess I could do that. Yeah, I guess I could do that. It's kind of dicky, dicky though, but I don't care. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Mark. Okay. Well, Biffle's not going to lead the first lap. That's all I That's all I care about. <laughs> it's so bad. It's oh, Thank God this is the last time playing this. Uh, this career mode, it's just, oh god, it's gross. Well, Jimmy got by me, so maybe I can use his draft to eventually get back up there. That would be nice. Here we go, we caught up to Jimmy finally. And we should be able to get by him and then try to use Harvick's draft to run down him and Biffle. So, I mean, good. It took a little bit, but the car is up to speed. And we should gain some time just leaving pit road when the stops occur, so... We got that on our side too. At least, at least I hope so. If it just plays out, so yeah, I don't know. Just, just, uh, boy, <laughs> go 196, 197. No, oh, a Harvick, he tried. It might actually work. So you usually get the AI. You should get a run up on the high side. So that still might be possible. Okay, well, oh wait, no, he's no. I thought he was gonna go down low, but no. Okay, well, never mind. Is Biffle actually still beside me? Uh, no, he's not. Okay. Well, now we could just you know set our sights on Gordon and Newman up there. So we're kind of in this weird vortex of barely being behind Gordon to get the draft, but pulling away from everybody behind me. I don't know how this happened or why it evolved into this, but I'm okay with it because we're ahead of Biffle, and that's all that matters. I'm still kind of amazed even being this far back from Gore, and I'm still getting, like, barely draft from him, it looks like. Which is interesting. I think they're pinning this lap. Yeah, they're pinning this lap. It looked like they were ducking down a bit too low, so... Yeah, we'll do the same. And... Yeah, all, all we can hope for now is to... Not have the pick crew, like, royally destroy the stop. And we got down there nicely. That was really good. I'm proud of myself. That will be a... 18 second stop, so pit crew again, do what they need to, but we're going to lose a lot of time on pit road. Shockingly, we beat Bipple out of pit road, which I was not expecting at all. But this is the part of the, of the stop we should be able to gain time on him is through here, right? if I remember correctly. If I'm if I'm wrong, then I'm going to look really bad. <laughs> so, yeah, Gordon's gone. He's he's left everybody. And yeah, this is where we start to gain on him, so this, this, is, this is the perk of cheesing it a little bit. And get by Newman, we'll get by Kyle. Still ahead of Biffle, so that's that's the biggest net gain. Wait, is that him up there? That can't be him up there. Oh, that's Harvick, okay. Alright, now we got an even bigger problem with Gordon being so far out there that I don't even think I can catch him. <laughs> I don't think I can catch him. Everything's going to cycle through, we'll end up getting th third likely, so... Unless something changes, Jimmy almost just LePaged himself into that car. I saw him get really close to that one guy. And actually... No, Bird's still staying out. Interesting. Okay. We're not even going to cycle out third. We're going to be a little bit further back. So, um... Or, or not. Okay. Well, Mark is up here, though. So, good for Mark. He's, he's trying. I respect it. Why am I trying to pass hard? I don't know. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if any... Please, no one did Harvick? Oh, my God! I saw that in my mirror. Harvick flew. Oh, my God. Kane. God damn it. I don't need that. I don't need that kind of caution. 
that hurts everything. Oh my god, I was going to be ahead of Biffle, and now we're going to be bunched up, and it's going to screw everything up. Unless I could do the team swap thing and change it, and then that can alter it. I don't know. I don't even know if that works. I, I mean, I, I think it does. I don't know. I guess we'll try it. So let me switch to somebody else. And then wait for my driver to get up to speed, because he'll actually get through the gears and go faster than what I'll do. And of course, Biffle's leading. That that son of a gun. Well, that sucks. All right, now let's go back to my car. And okay, well, never mind. He's just gonna have a slow start no matter what. And I'm stuck in seven, so we're gonna lose points to Biffle here. That's a bit of a problem. That's a that's a big fucking problem. That fucking sucks, man. God. And we're gonna get probably another yellow for Kane. God damn it. Took about a lap and a half, but we got our car up to speed. Trying to get around Tony Reigns is actually his pit strategy. Was... That's the debris I was, I was waiting for. <laughs> it might be from Harvick or Kane. I don't know. Might be from Kane. No, it's somebody else entirely different. Okay, well. Oh my god, this is. The shady thing is, too, it's like no matter what, like, even if I had a full blown custom setup in, it still would take some time for the car to get up to speed, and it just. It's just not enough. So we are going to perish in this race. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was fast. Um, Alright, it's from Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to get multiple yells now in a row, apparently. That's that's fun. That's really fun. Alright, can we... I mean, this is going to make my suffering only worse. I couldn't, I couldn't hold them off. It's just... It, I, I'm too slow in the starts to do anything. It's such horseshit that we have such awful starts like this. It's just unbelievable. And uh, that, that make matters worse, Biffle's in the lead. So yeah, we are going to have to go into ultimate uh, sweat mode for the remaining races. Because we, we can't afford to, to be like, Oh, maybe it will work if we don't use the custom set default setup. Or, no, we have to go all out. Well, I mean, not custom setup-wise, because I know we just kill the field, but... Pit row adjustments all the way. Also, thank God Gordon's leading. That's good. We need every point possible to try to minimize the damage because we're going to lose a lot of points here, which really sucks because, like, this is just out of my hands at this point. Tarvik? All right. We'll gain a spot. Maybe two with Robbie Gordon. I think. I Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, that, that helps us a little bit, but Biffle's still fourth, and... Ugh. That's, it's still going to be a big point loss for us. It just sucks. I, I don't even know what to say. It's just... Um, Biffle does lead two laps. He does get bonus points naturally. So 165. T t t Toxic Fungi's brother got top 10. That's pretty good. So Yeah, Biffle got a... Oh my god. 165 points. And then we get 127. So yeah, we lose... 37 points. So we're... Oh god! All the all the ground we we gained after last race is, is gone, and then some. <sighs> well, we have to go into Charlotte and just absolutely destroy the field. What is it, Ace? Is it another challenge? Oh, sure. Give me a raise after that. I don't know. <laughs> all right, so ugh, fifty points back. Gordon's actually close in a little bit, which I respect. Mark shouldn't be last anymore. No, he's ninth. Jimmy's tenth now. Oh, that's ew. Well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's looking between me, Biffle, Gordon, and that might be it. Maybe Stewart, but uh, maybe Newman, too. I don't know. It's, it's actually, technically, like, five drivers are still mathematically possible. Kurt is kind of pushing it, and I think after that might be it. I don't know, but... I don't know, but, yeah, let's let's go into Charlotte. We're going in with our pit row adjustments. We did really well in the Coke 600 with just normal default setup. And when we added that in, it made us, like, OP, so... This should make... This should be an easy win, as long as we don't die on the apron. And it's pull. Okay. Well, we, we scraped the wall off turn two, and... Yeah. And, of course, Biffle second. And it's not even a matter if we get the pull, because we're going to have a horrible start, lose the lead, Biffle's going to get it, get those bonus points, and I'm going to be mad. Well, uh, we're, the only difference I'm going to make to the setup is just uh, the wedge. It was a bit too tight in qualifying, so I, I'll bump it up another half a round. So... Really, the only thing we can do is just lead the most laps, get the max bonus points, and just try to gain as 
big of a gap on Bivol as we can. Which I think is possible, considering we did so well here in the Coke Season Center, like I said earlier. But yeah, we gotta just kind of get through this shitty first half a lap. But the car doesn't have speed. But then it gets speed off turn two, so <laughs> that's that's nice. And now we gotta try to make this pass on... I had to watch for the fucking apron. God. We're still gonna get a good rough turn four. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I almost let that lap. All right. Well, that was really close. That didn't need to be that epic. That apron. Really tried, man. It... I can't believe I'm still stopping. That's like the pass in the grass, but the pass on the eighth. <laughs> that was incredible. All right. We got to get through turn three. Clear Biffle. And then we could just absolutely check out. Because that car launched off to the corner. Something evil. Okay. <laughs> Byfield. Pitting this time. It's been uneventful since I took the lead. So. Yeah, all we could do now is just see where Biffle finishes. Because we're doing really everything we can right now on track. 17-9. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> Damn. Good job, pit crew. Now we'll see where this will put us and everything cycles through. So now it's just a waiting game. We're passing Bipple here, but I don't know if this is for position or he starts the pit. I have no idea. Are we going to have to grow this lap? No. Okay, well then I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he did pit already. <laughs> Okay, everything cycles out. We're back into the lead, and Bipple is second, so... Um, yeah, we're not going to gain a whole lot of points on him again, aren't we? My flag's out. I, I don't even have words. <laughs> we just completely just destroyed the field. It's it's typical Bascro 7 where we had like just random good races, and then ones where we're just so astronomically bad. It's baffling, it's confusing, but whatever. We'll win. <laughs> Max points for us. I think Biffle got second. I don't know. We'll have to look at the results, but it's going to take too long for the loads. So we'll have to look at the finishing results on the other screen. Let's look at the results. And Biffle second. <laughs> of course, we lead 22 out of 26. We do gain 20 points on him. That must mean on that first lap, we have got that lap led, which... It's honestly kind of incredible, because I thought for sure he led that, but I guess not. So, Hamlin's 8th, that's cute. Um, otherwise, where's Mark? Where's Mark? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. God damn it, I'm upset. Mark is just disappointing me now, like, it, I really didn't want him to run last. He was running, he was like, he was doing so well this season. Next episode, we'll tackle Martinsville. That should be a pretty easy win. Atlanta and Texas are the only other question marks where I just don't know how that's going to go. Phoenix, I think we should, still should be fine. Homestead, we should be fine, but I don't know. I'd like to build up a point lead just in case, but good thing is we've closed in on Biffle somewhat. <laughs> so good, good for us. Gordon is 64 back, and it does look like it's only going to be a three-person battle for the championship, so... That's what it's kind of shaping up to be. I didn't expect Gordon to be a factor. I, I was expecting Stuart to be more of a factor, really, but I've been wrong. And Mark's... Damn it. I'm up there. No. <laughs> Let's wrap this part up. We got bonus race time. I did not expect bonus race time in this episode, but here we are. So, it's Martinsville. It should be easy. We'll do qualifying and just make sure we got to be on pole. That's all. And we got the polls pretty easy. 19, 9, triple nines. And that was by half a second. So yeah. It's music time. I should have already had these on already. But I didn't. That's the end of the sentence. <laughs> Jeez, I can't construct sentences to save my life apparently anymore. Car setup. It's default like usual. I didn't change anything. So yeah, the, the, the main uh, adjustments are left untouched. So we just got to get through turn one. Also, of course, Biffle start in second. So that's... That's adorable by the game, making them qualify first, like, every single race, and having an average finish of, like, three, <laughs> or something crazy. Let's go this corner, and there we go. Are we clear? Okay, we're clear. Alright, see you, field.
That's what happens. That's what happens, Mirrors, when you literally block me into the fucking wall. Jesus Christ. I don't know if anyone saw that. That looked <laughs> Biffle's car. <laughs> what was that? His car just like was twerking essentially. I'm pinning his lap. I thought maybe a yellow would come out, but it didn't. But yeah, other than the Mirrors incident and us getting damaged on the left side of like when we around like lap 10 everything else has been pretty chill so yeah we're we're fine did i see 17.4 for the pit stop oh my god that is <laughs> that is really good holy good god i'm sorry streaming but <laughs> wow well yeah we're back into the lead all right well now we gotta try to run a clean race to the end which i doubt will happen there's biffle so I don't think we've lapped the whole field yet, so I, to my shock, I don't think he's actually in second place. Okay, maybe, wait, oh, maybe Kurt is, but that's still good for us. Like flags out, I don't even know what to say, it's kind of a typical Martinsville ass beating. <laughs> but, um, I think Biffle's third, which is good. That's going to gain us at least 25 points, so that we'll cut the lead in uh, at least more than half, which is good. Through the final corner, we're gonna put down almost beers another lap. Jeez, man, it's that was that was disgusting. <laughs> Type no words. We'll take a gander at the finishing results, and Biffle does end up getting third, so we'll gain twenty-five points, which is good. So yeah, well, like I said, we cut that gap in half nearly. Newman, Stewart, Gordon up there. And Johnson, I know Mark finished horribly. He was like multiple laps down. I don't know what was wrong with him. I don't know what was wrong with this this track. We put two people lap down. We took we put up to 18th, two laps down. Jeez, man, I can't speak. So yeah, that, that I bang my knee off my desk. Why is that a trend? Why it's like the spirit of my old desk is living in this one. That I miss my old desk. But I like this new one, but it makes me makes me upset. Next part we'll tackle Alana. So, got Atlanta, Texas, Phoenix, and Homestead. I don't know if we'll get through all of those in the next episode or what, but it's going to be interesting. And there it is, the point gap down to 12. Jeff Gordon's still kind of hanging on, 79 back. It's looking to be only a four-car battle at the very least. I think Kurt's pretty much out of it at the moment. And Mark is last by actually by a, oh my god, 127 points, 37. Good, oh my god. Well... Let's wrap this part up. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Hunter, Channel 15, NASCAR, Riverside.org, Billy Carrier, Jonathan Carden, Golf Kid 100, Denny Hamm, Ultimate Band, Emilio Bibzer, and Mark Harmon for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your support and contributing to the channel every month like this. It does me a lot. It always goes a long way with everything, and it, it truly, it truly is, is wonderful, and I'm just always really grateful. And it just, it means a lot. Now, that only leaves the question of Will next episode be the last part or not? Because we got four races. We could sometimes kind of do four. But I, I just don't know. And the only other question is just what Atlanta and Texas will bring. I think Phoenix will be fine. We won there before. But I guess we could just take a look at the the stats. I mean, it's it's kind of disgusting. Uh, 32 starts, 25 pulls, 23 wins, 26 top uh, top five. Or 23 top fives, 26 top tens. Average starts fifth. Average finishes fifth. Let's finish first. 460 laps led out of the 751, which is <laughs> led more than half the season, which is an insane ratio. But Biffle is like averaging a, like a 2.5 average finish at this point. It's unreal. I think his worst finish has been fourth at Talladega. So I don't know. So all we can do is just keep winning and hope he keeps getting second because by, by that account, then we'll definitely get the point lead over time. So. Either way, that'll do it for me in this part. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.